Salut les pilotes, you know what this soundtrack means, a new secret landmark video. The topics of this series shift a bit from presenting secret landmarks to the more correct a new storm. But this time I will also show you a making of of these videos so you can see how I find the landmark and how sometimes I come across more than I thought at the start of my research. Today we will go in Little Havana, the original name of the lead to Bacchus mission according to the press demo version and of course the secret go-kart track and arbory locations. But if you go near the Orange Bowl Stadium, you may have seen a strange blue building on the corner of the expressway. You will not find any mention in the official guide but well in the Prima guide which is more complete in that matter. Reading it, we learn that it's in fact the fantasy show theater. More than its uniqueness, what's interesting is how detailed it is from an unused landmark. There are billboards for the next pollution playing there, called Tropicana. The back of the structure almost looks like Tanner could have gone if it weren't for that blue gate blocking the way. And more importantly, the building features a sound effect that plays when you are near it. There aren't many places where you have a sound effect in Driver Tree, some hotels on Ocean Drive and the Morton Mall to name a few in Miami. Now if you search on Google a picture of the real fantasy show theater, you will notice that it's not easy at all to find it, even though it's the same name in Driver Tree as it does in real life. As is often the case with driver tree, the landmarks feature have disappeared over time and sometimes Google doesn't have any information to give you about them. So how did I manage to find it anyway? This is where the making of starts. Sometimes I like to search for a place I found in driver tree on Google, then I would virtually wander in the area using Google Streets to look at the path the developers took 15 years ago and if I can find more similar things along the way that could also be in driver tree as well. As the fantasy show theater was nowhere to be seen and Little Havana is a big place to look after a single building, even one with that very recognizable blue tint, I gave up on finding it that way and instead I searched for the Versailles apartments which are very close to the fantasy show theater in driver tree. And to my surprise, Google didn't find it as an apartment facilities, but rather as a Cuban restaurant called Versailles, like the famous place in France. The storefront leaves no doubt, however, it's definitely the same place repurposed in driver tree for some reason. Now that Google finally found something in the same area, I went on Google Streets to look at the Versailles Cuban restaurant and to my great pleasure, the developers did not go very far to take picture of the next building they wanted to put in driver tree. The fantasy show theater is right across the street. Thanks to Google history features, you can select an older period when available and with the oldest one being from 2007, you almost have the same vibes done in Driver Tree. 2007 is also the last time that the fantasy show theater has the same aspect as in the video game because already in 2008, the beautiful front fresco was removed and the fantasy show theater became the Ashe Club. Over the years, the building has gradually deteriorated and in 2018, the Ashe Club was also closed. Today, it's either a dirty liquor store or just an abandoned place, it's hard to tell. Thank you. 
I am also amazed at how similar the back of the building is. Again, this landmark isn't used once in the video game, you have no reason to explore it, but it's still very well detailed and such an incredible job has been done to model it as closely as possible to the real life building. Driver Tree can almost be considered as an early version of Google Street, dating back to 2001 and 2002 when the cities were made in Driver Tree, and it works as a landmark preservation tool as many of them have since disappeared. The next time you play Driver Tree, take some time to visit this unique looking landmark that will stay in the video game forever, unlike its real life counterpart. Un grand merci à mes Red Rivers de soutenir la chaîne en ayant souscrit à une adhésion. Je parle bien entendu de mes membres préférés tels que DriverDimension.com, French Contact, Nerosins, Tank, O9, YouTube, Emmett McLaughlin et Paul Lanois. Toi aussi tu peux devenir membre et profiter de récompenses uniques comme le lot de réactions à thème Driver à utiliser dans les commentaires et les live streams, ainsi que d'être remercié à la fin de mes vidéos et d'obtenir un badge à côté de ton pseudo. Clique sur le bouton bleu « Rejoindre » en bas de la vidéo pour plus d'informations. Et bien entendu, à bientôt mes chers pilotes